Another interesting weather week ahead. It is a packed one. Old Man Winter is reminding us he's not finished yet. We have a raw, nasty start to the day here into the Great Lakes. And this is just a taste of what's to come. A late week system is looking to drop up to a foot, maybe even a foot and a half in some places in the northern tier. Jim. Yeah, putting a lot of those areas closer. Headquarters, I'm meteorologist Stephanie Abrams alongside meteorologist Jordan Steele and Jim Cantori. And Jim, this starting of the week is really just kind of um, a warm up to another big storm that's going to be coming in. Have you ever been to one of those concerts where like and I am excited to show you where we are going to see the potential for record warmth. Though I know overall it's been a very warm summer. We will see it again today. This cools off though. Over 200 million will be above average anywhere from the four corners to the air ahead of Minnesota. All the entire East Coast will be feeling that heat and in fact we could have record potentials. Florida this is the time of year in the winter though I know we're only we're literally two weeks to the day until we hit spring. I think officially it comes in at five something 540 something 520 something can't remember exactly but we are two weeks away from spring. Florida never got a break from the heat and humidity. It's been here all winter long and we will see again the potential for records now here Here's the thing, 79 in places like Atlanta with the sunshine. I'm going to the pool today. Open up those pools. It's going to be nice and warm, but that is also making all of the pollen explode. Jackson, Mississippi, we are high and points as north as Indianapolis are already starting to feel that itch thanks to the trees that are just blooming like crazy. Anywhere from the worst of it, the Carolinas all the way over into Texas, but you see that expands up towards the Ohio River and the mid-Mississippi River Valley as well. Let's talk heat here. Tomorrow, we'll see a lot of places that are near records. If we're going to be this warm, we might as well break a record. We want to have something to show for it, right? If you're going to be that hot. Uh, and then things kind of moderate. I know this shows some above, some below. We kind of moderate here, and we do have some cooler temperatures coming in, but it's not going to be excessively cool. I mean, you're only at about 92 million. You can see just by the colors here, uh, we're more like back to average. I mean, we do have some cooler temperatures, but there's nothing that's crazy frigid coming in. That jet stream keeps all the really chillier temperatures through the northern tier. And Jim, you can see it is a touch cooler, but no. it's nothing outrageous. No, it's not. And and it's, it's really now let's have a look at the T-Mobile coast to coast forecast and give you a peek at temperatures in your area as you plan your travel for the week ahead. And we are going to see that messy weather continue. So notice that we stay in an active day. Here's today we've talked a lot about today. As we go in tomorrow, we have a little energy coming in and notice what's coming in here on the West Coast. That's the much bigger energy Wednesday. Things start to get together, but it's Thursday. That's when we have our big system, snow to the north and rain as we head down into the south. That then heads east on Friday, but look, we have yet more weather coming into the West Coast. I'm telling you, looking at the long range models through mid March, we continue to see the systems coming into the West. Same into Saturday, and we will see the Midwest and the Northeast getting it all the way through our Sunday. Welcome back into Pattern. If you don't live in a hurricane prone area, you probably aren't worrying about whether your home would or wouldn't survive a hurricane. Right, but maybe you should be thinking about that because in the next few decades, millions of people will become new targets of these powerful storms. First Street founder and CEO Matthew Eby explains that growing threat. But to be able to see this like from a you know community perspective, whether you need to go or, or whatever from like a government perspective or to stage the National Guard or people to help once the storm's through. You can kind of know where the safe zone is compared to where it's not. Florida's the toughest, right? Because it Florida's sticks out tough. like a sore thumb yes. and you can't really stage. You have to stage north and You're then right. drive south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a lot. Coming up next on Pattern, your next crawfish. Welcome back to Pattern. As transport goes electric, we are seeing some problems. Felicia Combs recently spoke to an expert about what we can do to stay safe around lithium ion batteries. <laughs> Alicia, thank you. Appreciate it's one of those things where like nothing is foolproof, right? You try to improve something and there's always a problem. Well, which there's is also kind of life. Room for error. Like yeah. we're still learning. And yeah. I think eventually, hopefully, we'll get to a point when it's good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Are you good to go? Good to go. I'm good to go. For more stories like this, make sure you check out Patterns. Welcome back, everybody. So climate change is impacting where we get our food. Mm -hmm. Things like meat can create a lot of emissions and much of our produce comes from other states or maybe even other countries. Yeah, so a couple and their son decided to start working with what they have. And you know what they had? Oh, no. Crickets. What? Oh, like I don't actually, like that I do those crickets. Did you hear that? The yeah. humidifier and here's the, the thing. Here's the thing. How often do you look at the ingredients on the back of the food you're eating 
If you don't know crickets are in it and it tastes good, you're going to eat it. You would. It's you as would. simple as that. All right, let's take you to some of the climate headlines from around the world and our oceans. We'll have a here and talk about the weather. Molly, where do you stand on the crickets? Well, first of all, you would eat a cricket. I have you, You've I, probably already eaten one. I huh? have already probably. eaten. I've already you eaten have? several crickets. Not today, but just like in the past. Um, but, you know, like Jordan What's said, the you, context? you don't I really know. know it's like, just her afternoon snack. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I remember when I was at school and, like, the the uh, bug department was, like, handing out these cricket bars. You're That's like, the first time it. I tried them. Um, <laughs> but I think I would rather know what's in my food and it's a cricket. That's fine. I'm fine with that than some of the other ingredients yeah. that, you know, we don't know what they are. We have the no idea what go, they Molly. are. <laughs> Take one for the team. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. <laughs> Jordan. All right. Here's what's coming up tomorrow on Pattern. We might be afraid of them, but sharks... They're also afraid of us. Why Woo TV, Alex and Bennett, they're in studio, ready for you.